Today we are going to learn how you can create a source physical file. In order for you to create a source physical file, you have to issue the command CRTSRCPF, create source physical file. Again, the reason that you want to create a source physical file as this will be the home for the source code of all your members. Think about it like this, if you are doing a project in Visual Studio and you need to write some code in VB or C Sharp, you need to create a project. In that project, you can then put all your files and then as you compile, those files can then be converted to a machine code so that they can be executed on the machine. So your project is your container. Similarly, in a Java, you have to create a Java project in which you can dump your files and that Java project is nothing but a container. So this source physical file is an object. That means it has a name and it takes up space. However, it's more or less like a container to hold the source codes of the members so that you can compile the source code and the actual objects can be created out of those members, which will then exist outside of the source physical file as entities by themselves. But this is a platform for simply writing your source code to create your members. So now let's create a source physical file by creating by issuing this command and pressing F4. Now it gives me a prompt screen where it asks me what would you like to name the source physical file and then where would you like to place it. I would like to place it in my current library so I am giving it a system value of C-U-R-L-I-B and as you remember from the previous tutorials that system values must be preceded by an asterisk. So I need to come up with the name of my source physical file. Once I create my source physical file I can create as many members as the maximum capacity of a source physical file file is, which is in few hundreds, or it could be changed by your administrator. But anyway, so you don't have to keep creating your source physical file. So we're going to call this one source physical file, the source physical file SRCPF. You don't have to come up with this naming convention, but I'm just using SRCPF as the name, and I'm going to call this one DBSU1. So this is SRCPF database SU1, SU for summer, 1. So now I'm pressing enter. Well, as soon as I press enter, it takes this name and creates the source physical file in my current library. This is not case sensitive, so if you have your caps lock on or off, doesn't matter. A lot of the people prefer to write it in caps. As soon as I press enter, notice it, notice it gives me a message saying the following source physical file was created in the following library. So that's how you create a source physical file. In the next tutorial, we will learn how you can add a member to a source physical file. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Have a great day.